because it's Friday, you ain't got no job, and you ain't got shit to do. I see what you did there. Yeah. No, no, I, no, I get it. No, I get, yeah. Small tank. I get it. <laughs> I don't get it. It's Friday, Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Chad from Beard Hubs Podcast, uh, back for another Friday morning beer review in the new space. Well, sort of the new space. It's the same space overall, but I switched everything around, got rid of the black curtains behind me, um, kind of on the other side of the room now with a nice background. Um, so something for you all to look at rather than, you know, my pretty face on every uh, Friday morning. So this week, I've got my tulip glass out because we are doing a Belgian strong ale. This is from Lakefront Brewery. Now, I know on the regular podcast, we just did a uh, feature on Lakefront Brewery. Not the reason that I chose this beer. I chose this beer because I wanted something really kind of out there and different to uh, kick off the new the new background studio space. I mean, it sounds like a legit enough reason for me. Anyway, <laughs> this is a strong Belgian ale from Lakefront Brewery out of their small tank series. Now this is made with um, Wollersheim wine barrels. Yeah, Wollersheim Winery, I'll talk a little bit about that as I talk more about this beer. They're in, they're in Wisconsin, they're Wisconsin winery. So this beer is a, uh, like I said, strong Belgian ale aged in Wollersheim Winery Chardonnay barrels. So the thing that really caught my eye on this is the Chardonnay barrels, and it basically comes down to, well... And it, it's because one of my favorite beers overall is Roll Out the Barrel from Three Sheeps, which is a uh, Belgian quad aged in Chardonnay barrels. So this one I'm expecting will probably be, you know, maybe something like that. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm totally wrong. But the fact that it's uh, aged and brewed in similar fashion to one of my favorite beers at Three Sheeps, you know, caught my eye. So the bottle is... Um, it's a 500 milliliter bottle, which is uh, 16.9 ounces. Really nice feeling label. Uh, it's kind of it's a matte finish. Uh, the bottle's all sweaty because it's kind of humid this morning. It's just it's it's a well done label, I think. You know, got a nice feel to it. Kind of a olive drabby colored green. The information on it's right there. Seven percent ABV, 500 milliliters, brewed and bottled by Lakefront Brewery. They suggest a snifter right here. I grabbed the tulip just because the tulip is what I usually go to for a Belgian ale. Uh, it's also signed by the uh, brewmaster at Lakefront, or the head brewer, I should say, at Lakefront, which is Mark Luther Paul. Um, on the back of the bottle, Lakefront Brewery, barrel aged, right there. Independent Craft logo, right there. Brewed in small batches, our small tank series beers are handcrafted and experimental made by just a few hardworking individual determined to create individuals determined to create solid liquor for your enjoyment. Boom. I guess that's a mic drop. Let's open this thing up. And we'll give it the old sniff out of the bottle. Can smell the uh, the Belgininess from here. Mmm, very very strong in Chardonnay. I like that. I'm actually not a Chardonnay drinker. Brittany and I prefer red wine most of the time. I would say 90% of the time we're drinking a red wine, and we do like some whites, but Chardonnay is not really our go-to as far as uh, whites go. But they do make very good barrel-aged beer, so. I do, I do like the smell of a Chardonnay. They, they, they smell really nice. 
So from up, from back here, I got a, like a Belgian-y ale smell. At the bottle, it's mostly Chardonnay. That's interesting. Time for a pour. With the uh, glass starting to sweat already, it actually has a really, really cool color to it. Kind of a golden, um, opaque golden color. Kind of what you'd expect from a Belgian to look like. Very, very nice looking. Obviously not going to get the whole 500 milliliter bottle in a tulip glass, but the old schniff reveals Is somebody mowing their grass this early in the morning? I hear a lawnmower. I don't know if you can hear that or not, but anyway. Uh, very, very strong Chardonnay smell out of the out of the glass schniff. Uh, I do get a little bit of oakiness from the barrels. Maybe even a hint of vanilla. Actually, the more I smell it, this the more I, I smell Chardonnay and vanilla more than the oak. The first, first schniff was fairly oaky. But yeah, Chardonnay, vanilla e oaky. Let's go see what it tastes like. Oh, I'm excited about this one. Oh. Oh, man. That is about probably the smoothest Belgian ale I've ever had, especially for a strong Belgian. That is super, super smooth. Very, very good. It's got a nice balance of a Belgian ale, strong Belgian ale, with a really nice Chardonnay aroma as you take it in and taste. I don't get a whole lot of vanilla or oakiness in the taste. Maybe a hint of vanilla. Yeah, it's it's very, very nicely balanced. Traditional Belgian strong ale and, uh, and a Chardonnay. Very nice, nice, nice Chardonnay. Um, flavor to it. That's one thing about a Chardonnay. If I'm drinking a bottle of Chardonnay, it's it's so overpowering the flavor, um, and that's probably one of the reasons I don't like it. But when you take it a barrel and age a beer in it, you get just a hint of that flavor, which works a lot better for me. So, yeah, this is this is quite delicious. Mm. Oh, that's good. That's going to go down real fast. If you watched uh, the the most uh, one of the more recent uh, regular beer hops podcasts that we've done on site, you know quite a bit about Lakefront Brewery at this point. But I'll just go over a couple of the basics there in downtown Milwaukee. Well, north of downtown Milwaukee on the river. Uh, started in 1987. Uh, Russ Klish is the owner and great guy, oh, great great all around guy. We had a blast with him doing the interview and getting a uh, private tour with him. And uh, as a part of that that uh, interview, we did talk about their barrel age series, and that's uh, something that they're very very proud of in the the different types of beers that they come out with in this barrel age series, especially the small tank series. So this one is exceptional. I mean, that's that's going to be very very highly rated um, on Untapped for me on the Lakefront Brewery website on the Belgian Strong Ale description page. It is a Wollersheim Winery Chardonnay barrel aged Belgian Strong Ale. Trying to, f oh, this is, I'm trying to figure out what their little scale thing is here. So on the body, uh, looks like it's about a seven out of 10, uh, hoppiness, about a six out of 10 and color, you know, right there in the middle, uh, maybe slightly, slightly past middle average of, uh, from light to dark. The description is last winter, the folks at Wollersheim winery gave us a dozen or so or so used Chardonnay barrels. And we gave them our word that we wouldn't carve them up into planters. Instead, we used those barrels to age a small batch of lightly sweet Belgian strong ale for one year where it picked up signature fruity and floral Chardonnay aromas along with creamy vanilla and oak notes. We're pretty proud of how this this beer turned out, but we couldn't be prouder to partner with a hardworking Wisconsin winemaker like Wollersheim. That's interesting. Uh, I didn't read this description before. I had the page pulled up, but I didn't read the description before I tasted it. 
and I actually, I usually don't nail the flavors. I'm usually like, I'm way off, like, because I taste something that's not really there or something. But in this particular case, um, yeah, I feel like I nailed that one. Nice, nice, excellent job. Wollersheim Winery is in Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin. They do uh, winery, and they also have a distillery, and they've got a bunch of different products. This is a winery that we have not been to. They're very, very well known in the state of Wisconsin, and their distillery is uh, is uh, getting uh, accolades as well. They've got a bourbon coming out this year. I'm really excited to try that. Um, so when you, if you're in Wisconsin and around the Madison area, it's just northwest of Madison, probably a half hour or so, maybe not even a half hour. We intend to get over there at some point, Brittany and I, to go check out this winery. It's been our, on our list for quite some time now. We usually end up in doing the Door County wineries because we're up there all the time or there's a couple of, of wineries around us in the Milwaukee area. But the, uh, the one in Prairie du Sac, is, uh looks really, really cool to, uh, to check that out. They're fairly old, like 1800s or mid-1800s. Um, let's see, I should, probably can find that. I just remember seeing it on their bottle. Yeah, Wollersheim Winery is located on a scenic hillside across from the Wisconsin River in Prairie du Sac, Wisconsin. Created in the 1840s, Wollersheim Winery has developed into a leader in the Midwestern wine industry, winning numerous awards throughout its storied history. So Wollersheim Winery, great place. Check it out. I'm sure it's a great place anyway. I haven't been there, as I have said several times already. But we're going to go. Anyway, back to the beer. All right, let's go over to Untapped and see what the uh, beautiful people who Untapped think of this beer. I'm guessing we're not going to have a whole lot of check-ins on this one. Uh, I wonder when this came out. It's got to be fairly recent. There's no date on it. And Untapped, uh, as far as I know, they've stopped putting dates that beers were added because I the last few I've looked at have not have not had dates. So this one's the same. Um, 240 total check-ins. That's it. 234 of those are unique, and 208 have given ratings. It's a 3.93 average rated beer, so very very good. Seven percent ABV. No IBUs given. That's the untapped update. Man, it's so good. I know it's a very, very limited release, probably around the Milwaukee, North North Chicago area. But if you're in that in these areas and you happen to come across a bottle that looks, it's like that old school, old style bottle, 500 milliliters. If you see this label grab one. Um, you will not be disappointed. This is a very, very good beer. Uh, good to be back doing Friday morning beer reviews. We had a fantastic weekend over the 4th of July and, um, looking forward to, uh, continuing the weekly tradition of, uh, Friday morning beer reviews going forward for the rest of the year. Hopefully I won't miss any. We'll see. I know. Well, I take that back. I know I'm going to miss one, probably two. I don't know, maybe several. I'll do them as often as I can. Cheers, Prost, everybody. Have a great weekend. Be safe, and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.